Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to my bar class this morning. Hopefully you are having a good morning. We're off to a great start. It's Thursday. The weeks are flying by for me anyways. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit while we're waiting for people to join in. Good morning, Monica. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about intention and goals. And, you know, this can be applied to anything in, in our lives, right? We all have dreams and aspirations to um, be a certain thing in our career, in our jobs, um, but also in our own personal life, our relationships, our health, our fitness. So those are, dream, those are dreams and, and aspirations. Good morning, Judy. So how do we turn those dreams and aspirations into reality? Good morning, Sarah. So a dream and an aspiration is something out there. It's something that we want to achieve, we want to become, but how do we get there? So, I mean, I don't know anyone that comes to me and says, Tori, I have dreams and aspirations to be unhealthy, overweight, out of shape, um, not being able to hold a plank, for 30 seconds, you know, those are not the dreams and aspirations that the majority of us have. So how do we go from where we are today, the reality of where we're standing, to get to where we wanna be? You guys, that's in the goals, that's in our intentions, that's in our actions. That starts with today, that starts with right now. And you guys are joining me right now because your goal is to get healthier. It's your dream and your aspiration, but you're here because it's your goal. You've made that commitment to yourself to get up off the couch. Hopefully you're not sitting on the couch just watching that you're actually getting up and you're actually going to be moving with me for this next hour. So the, I want to applaud you guys. I want to applaud myself for making this commitment to be here with you as well. It, I get as much out of it, uh, or if not more, than I'm sure you are, guys are getting out of it. I do want to encourage you to share this with your friends. Um, it's great because you can join me live, which I'm so thankful that I'm not doing this by myself. Because unlike in the classroom, I don't get that immediate feedback. I can't see your smiling faces or hear your, um, your grunts and your groans along with me. So I'm kind of in my own little bubble here and just seeing that you guys are logging on with me helps me feel a little bit better. But know that you can always go into these workouts because they are recorded and watch them again over and over or share them. So hopefully you guys are doing that as well. I'd love to hear your comments. I love to see um, that you guys are enjoying the workouts. Um, if you're joining me for the first time, if this is your first bar class, ever, or maybe it's just your first time with me, know that this workout is such a great workout for everybody, anybody, anybody. It's your workout, you can modify it as much as you need to. I will of course be giving you suggestions um, for modifications, but also because I can't see you, I can't make corrections. So just be mindful of my cueing. Let me know if you can't hear very well over the music. I try and keep the music low, so it's just kind of this underlying um, presence. I will um, be using the mat today. In my format, we start with a standing warm-up. We do our arm series. We do some leg work standing, and then we go down, down to the mat for some more legs, kind of a mat Pilates type format. Um, we work on our core and I will be doing a final stretch, but we also stretch throughout the class. So that's the, the other great benefit of bar is we work the muscles fatigue, to fatigue and then we stretch and elongate them. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I just wanted to give you that little chat about goals and intentions. Those are the things that are within your control. So if you have a dream or aspiration to be a certain size or fit into a certain size clothes. That's a dream or an aspiration. You can't control what weight you are. What you can control is your daily actions.
that will help support you to get towards that goal. Say your goal is to be, I don't know, um, 125. You can't predict that you're gonna be 125 pounds, wherever you're at. You can only do the actions today that help support that goal or that aspiration. Does that make sense? All right, so eating is so important. Nutrition, so focus on eating well. I'm gonna put a link to my Healthy um, Living with Tori Facebook page, also my Instagram, Healthy Living with TA. I like to post recipes and just positive um, things to help kind of inspire you to get more fit and healthy. So for the workout today, you're gonna to want a mat. Also, I have two pound weights and I have a set of five pound weights. If you don't have weights, you guys don't worry about it. Some people use water bottles. You can also just use your own body weight. Just by contracting, making a fist and contracting those muscles, you can actually work those arms really well. The nice thing about the bar workout arm series is we do use lighter weights because we do more repetition, smaller, faster movements. So actually lighter is better. Then you're gonna want a wall. Today we're gonna we're not gonna work on balance as much as we did on Tuesday. Tuesday we didn't use the wall or a chair or anything at all. So how'd you guys like that? Was it a struggle? Was it a challenge? If you joined um, my Tuesday workout or if you've watched it since then, let me know what you thought of that. It's important to keep working on our balance, on our flexibility, keeping those joints lubricated, our muscles strong and flexible. As we age, we start to lose those things. We lose our balance, so we have to keep working on it. So that's why I love this, this workout for everybody. Um, so light weights, I have two and three, uh, five pounds. Again, you can use water bottles. At the end, I'm gonna utilize a strap. So if you have a yoga strap, great, awesome. This strap is just a yoga mat holder strap. I'm gonna use that. You can also, if you have one of these laying around, the stretchy ones, you can use that. You can also just grab a towel and you can use that. So a lot of options, you guys, for you today. And have a water bottle nearby for drinking. And let's get started. Yeah, I'm so glad that we have this time together. It really helps me to stay um, committed and active. But I encourage you to get outside, get fresh air, I know I posted a couple, I don't know, a couple workouts ago, do you wear a mask while you're walking outside or running? I see people running with masks on, because that's not healthy. So if you're outside in fresh air, as long as you're not like um, getting together in close proximity with other people, don't use a mask, okay? Have one with you if you feel like, you know, you might run into people. But even so, I think it's just so good to get out in fresh air and, and breathe that oxygen, clean the oxygen. All right, so we're gonna stand with our knees soft. I want you to draw that belly in towards your spine because we always wanna be aware of protecting that low back. So great thing about bar is it's from, um, it's was created by a dancer. So we're focusing on good posture. So I want you to lift that chest as you draw the nip, uh, rip, uh, pull the rib cage together. So you don't want to stick the rib cage out, but just keep it in. But lift it. Try and relax the shoulders. Take a deep breath. Inhale up. And exhale out. And inhale up. And exhale out. Let's roll the shoulders up and around. Who's loving the heat? I know I love the sunshine. I'm not a fan of the heat. Now alternate, but I hear it's gonna cool off a little bit. Up and around. It just feels so good to move our bodies, doesn't it? 
Bend the elbow up and around. It's such a privilege, really, and a blessing. Now open that arm, swing it. So we're just getting that body moving. It's kind of early for some people. <laughs> Both arms up and around. Up and around. Nice. Let's reverse direction. Bring it forward. And alternate, take it left and right, left and right, bend the elbow, up and around. And just the shoulder, up and around. Good, now take it back and forward. Shoulders back, shoulders forward, lift. Good, now I want you to open those arms and really lift that chest and then round it over. Keep that belly pulled in. Good, drop those arms, slide down your thighs. Warming up that waist. Good, and reach and tap. And just twist. 
Alright, roll the shoulders. Take one more deep breath. Inhale up and exhale out. Alright, I would like for you guys to grab your lighter weights. We're going to go ahead and start with the arm series. Grab a quick drink. You guys can hear me okay? Everyone good? Give me a thumbs up.
and in. Open and squeeze. Open and squeeze. Now faster tempo. So again, if you have a heavier weight than two pounds, just be very mindful of this movement and keep it slow if you need to. Keep those elbows lifted. And I'm trying to bring the elbows and wrists together in the center. So I'm not doing this. Bring it all the way in. Squeeze. Good, four more. Three, two, now hold it here. We're gonna press it up and down. Press it up and down. Squeeze it up. Now I'm gonna hold it down here. Now this is gonna be for my back. So now I really am squeezing below the shoulder blades, pulling it together. Squeeze. Four more. Three, two, hold it down here, little pulses. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good, four more. Three, two, and one. Now we're gonna press it up, up, pull it up. Hold out here and little lifts. Straight arms. 
Now on this one, try not to let the arms flare away from your body. Keep it nice and close in. Now, if you're not feeling this, maybe you don't have weights, take that torso a little bit lower to the ground and keep those arms lifted. Definitely more challenging. Woo! Good, four more. Three, two, that those little pulses. Now on this first set, my palms are facing in. All right, hold it up here. We're gonna squeeze those arms together. Keep those arms lifted. Now put it together. We're gonna lift, squeeze in. Lift up, squeeze in. How we doing? Up, squeeze in. Good, four more. Woo! Three, two more. And last one. All right, now why don't you turn the palms up towards the ceiling, little lifts. Pulse it up. Press it up. Woo! Again, you can take that torso lower to the ground. Keep those arms lifted. Good, four more. Three, two, last one. We're gonna do a little bend and extend it out. Press, squeeze it out, squeeze it out. So we work those muscles to fatigue. Woo. And then we're gonna stretch and elongate them. Good, four more. Three, two, last one, hold it for me. Take that torso lower. Give me one little inch lift. And release. Woo. Good job. All right, we're gonna switch to biceps. So if you have a heavier set of weights, you can grab those. I'm gonna switch to my five pound weights, but you can stay with whatever you have. All right, so we're gonna take our arms in front of our body, palms facing forward. You're gonna press those elbows into your waist. And I want you to bring it up and down. And I want you to try and fully extend those arms straight at the bottom and then squeeze it up. Notice I'm not swinging my arms. Nice and controlled. And again, really focus on those biceps with your mind. Squeeze it up. Even if you don't have weights, you should be able to feel this if you're really contracting those biceps. Exhale, inhale. Good, four more, three more, two more, and last one. Now we're gonna alternate a little bit faster tempo. Breathe. Again, knees are soft, my abs are pulled in. All right, we're gonna take both arms in, and I want you to extend it out and in, out and in. So the workout on Tuesday was a little bit different. We stayed with our light weights, but we kept the tension on those arms. Time. You can also use water bottles. I think I mentioned that in the beginning. All right, let's alternate. Extend one arm and then the other. Out, 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 up. Good. Four more. Three, two, and one. The little presses. Out. Four more. Three, two, and one. Now lift it up. Press up. Now take it to the side. Up, lift, up, up. Four more. Three, two, now press it out. Press, 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 press. Now 
alternate. Up, 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 up. Now both arms take it out and in, up and in. How are we doing? Now bring it down and up, down and up. We're gonna finish off with those alternating bicep curls, angling up to the side. Good, four more. Three, two more. Last one. All right, roll the shoulders. So we're gonna switch and do a little bit of back work. So taking those feet wide, we're gonna take that right arm, we're gonna lunge, bring that weight down, and then pull it up, pull it up. Squeeze it up, squeeze it up, squeeze it up. Keep those abs in, lift that elbow, working that upper thoracic spine. Good, four more. Three, two more. Hold it here. Now just take it down and up. So I've got my feet in a wide second position. My toes are angled slightly out. I'm really opening up those knees over my toes, using those glutes, and then really focusing on squeezing as I lift that elbow. Four more. Three. Two more. Last one. All right, switch to the other side. Reach down, pull up, down, pull up. You guys are doing awesome. Actually, I have no idea. I'm just projecting, putting it out there that you guys are doing amazing. Good, four more. Three, if you're sitting on the couch watching, that's no bueno. Come on, get up. Join us. Do what you can. Take breaks if you need to. Good, four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Hold it here. Take it down. And left. Down. Good, up. Down. Press those knees out. Lift that elbow. Breathe. Good. Four more. Three. Two more. Last one. Give me both arms down and lift. Down and lift. Four more. Three. Two more. Last one, you guys. Bring those arms down, roll the shoulders, walk those feet in. Woo. Just bring those arms in front, like that. All right, we are gonna sit those weights down, grab a quick drink, and then we're gonna stretch those arms and start to warm up the feet. Get a listen to your body. 
Bring that arm up. We're going to bend that elbow gently, pull it back. Again, nice tricep stretch. How's that muscle that wraps around your shin bone? You know where that muscle is now, I bet. All right, take that arm out in front. Woo! Now take the toes in and out. So a lot of us have tight, tight hips. So I want you to just kind of rotate at a little bit of more of a twist. Still tapping the toes. Add the arms and twist. One of my new favorite workouts is I have a rebounder. And I honestly hadn't been using it very much. But I kind of broke it out because I don't have a treadmill or elliptical or bike at home. And I love it. And there's so many health benefits from working on a rebounder. So if you're interested, Google that. A lot of YouTube videos on it. There's definitely more higher quality, a little bit more expensive ones. You want to get a little bit of a better quality than an inexpensive one, because it does make a difference. All right, toes straight in front. We're going to take those hands on the opposite thigh. Take that body a little bit lower. Keep tapping those toes. Ow. All right, last one in and out. Almost done. Four more. Three, two, one. And one. All right, we're going to stretch that muscle. So you're going to take that foot we were just working. Take it behind you. Press the top of the foot into the floor. So you should feel a nice stretch. Woo, shake it out. All right, we got another side. So take that other foot out. Toe is lifted. Knees are bent. Abs pulled in again. The chest lifted. Shoulders are relaxed. No tension in that neck, and it's just start tapping. Tap. Breathe. All right, take that arm across, shoulder down first. All right, lift the shoulder, bring it across a little bit further. Take that arm up, bend that elbow. Take that arm out in front. Stretch out that bicep. Good, shake those arms. Take the toes in and out. Woo. If you find yourself holding your breath, try and relax and breathe. So some of these exercises are challenging you guys just try and make sure that you're breathing add a little bit more of that hip twist try and relax the face I can't see you but it's okay to make noises and twist whatever gets you through good four more three two now straight ahead and tap, tap, tap. Take the hands on the opposite thigh. Oh my gosh. Tap, tap. Four more. Three, two. Last one, take it in and out. Woo. Four more. Three, two, and one. Oh man, take that foot behind. Press the top of the foot into the floor. That feels so good. I don't know about you. All right, we're going to start to warm up those ankles and calves. So take that right foot out now, away from your body. We're going to press. I want you to shift the weight over on top of the ball of the foot and then shift back over. So all your weight comes onto the ball of the foot and over. So we're trying to increase the flexibility in that ankle. Work on it on that arch of the foot. Faster tempo, take it out and in. Let's just add a little arm, reach it out. Reach. All right, we're gonna slide that foot back in. I want you to circle the ankle out. Now add a little bit more of a hip. 
reverse direction, just the ankle circle. You can do these actually just sitting at your chair, sitting watching TV at more of the hip, not the hip part, but the feet part. All right, other foot, take it out. We're gonna shift our weight over and back. All the way back. Lift. Let's add that arm. We'll reach it out. Reach it out and in. Reach it out and in. Good. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Slide that foot in. Now just circle the ankle out. Try to get that full range of motion. Add that hip up and around. Reverse it. If you have not tried belly dancing, I highly recommend it. Not only is it awesome for isolation moves, working that core, but as women, it's so, I don't know, intrinsic to embrace our femininity, femininity, our sensuality. All right, let's shake those legs out. And it's different. You guys, when you start to do different things that cause your brain to work harder and your muscles to work differently, that's so important to keep that muscle and brain strong and healthy. All right, so we're gonna move to either a wall, a kitchen counter, or bathroom counter, or back of a couch, or a sturdy chair for the calf work because I want you to have a little bit more help with the balance so we can get a real full range of motion with that feet. When you're working without it, which we did on Tuesday, also really important to challenge that balance a little bit more. But today we're going to focus more on getting a full range of motion and really increasing that flexibility in that arch. So let's come on back to your wall. So again, you can hold on your wall. I do have a bar here in my little mini gym. So we're going to bring those heels together. I'm going to angle my camera a little bit more so you can see the bar. All right, so heels together. And you want your toes just slightly turned out. So please don't feel like you have to force a turn out. You kind of want to just have your feet parallel together. Go back on your heels, lift the toes, and just let them open naturally. And that's your natural turnout. So we don't want to force anything. So we're going to start out by just bending those knees, kind of warming up those quads, your glutes, opening those thighs, and squeeze the glutes. Again, nice posture. No tension in that neck. Take it down. And up. Remember this for later on. You're going to be, really be working those muscles, opening up those inner thighs, and then squeezing those glutes. So these workouts were designed to be done to rehabilitate dancers with injuries. So it's great for strengthening the quads, the hamstrings, all those little muscles that support the joints. So it shouldn't be harmful if you have knee issues, but if anything bothers you, listen to your body and modify things. All right, we're gonna add a calf raise, which just means we're gonna rise up on the ball of your feet and then lower back down. Knees are straight. Now you're gonna bend those knees and squeeze up. So rise up and lower and open and squeeze. Now slow, because I really want you to focus on making sure that you're using those muscles before we go faster. And when you come up, make sure your weight is centered between the big and little toes. All right, we're going to go a little bit faster, but again, keep that mind-body connection. So we're going to bend, straighten, lift, and lower. Open, squeeze, down, and lift, and down. Now faster tempo, we're going to take it down, push up, squeeze up, down, squeeze up, down, squeeze up. 
squeeze up. And so opening those thighs, squeezing those glutes, squeezing the inner thighs. Good, four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Now we're gonna take it down and up. A little. Press those heels into the floor and then bounce up. Thank you. 
last one, now bring it to the front. Breathe. All right, let's lift that right 
leg, just let it hover off the ground. Breathe. And switch, other leg. Good job, bring it back down. And lower those knees. Go ahead and push back into child's pose. And if you want, open up those knees wide. Bring it back. All right, we're gonna come into a high plank. So up on those wrists, shoulder stack. So you're gonna lift that right leg, bring that knee in, draw that belly in. Take it to your outside elbow. Take it across. Back to center and out. Other leg lift. Bring it in, draw that belly in. Outside. Across. Back out. And down. Lower down. Alright, come all the way onto your belly. We're gonna come into a low cobra. So lifting that chest off the mat. I want you to lengthen through the crown of the head, reaching forward so you're not hyperextending that neck. And breathe. Relax. Take the arms behind, lace those fingers, and squeeze, lift. If you can't connect those fingers, just reach back. And release. Come back up. All right, we're gonna grab our strap. Again, you can grab a towel, you lay on your backs. You're gonna bring that strap around the balls of your feet, extend those legs up to the ceiling, flex those feet, and gently pull them towards you. Woo! All right, we're gonna take one leg out, Pull that other leg in, straight knee. Take the straps in one hand. You're gonna open that leg wide, getting an inner thigh stretch. We're gonna cross your body, switch that grip, in that IT band stretch. Bring it back to the center. I'm kind of rushing through this, you guys. Please take your time. If, you're, if you have time after this, to maybe stretch a little bit longer. Open it out to the side, inner thigh stretch. If you've been taking my bar class, you know that it's never the same. Kind of similar format. I don't have it pre-choreographed, so it's whatever comes out is what happens. I have a general idea of what I want to focus on for the most part. All right, just let that strap fall behind your head, hug those knees. We're going to rock up, coming up to sitting position. Cross one leg in front of the other, take a deep breath, inhale up. Exhale, hands on the floor, rock it out. to do 
all the stretching I want. Take a deep breath, inhale up, exhale out. One more deep breath, bring those palms together at the top. Bring your hands down the heart center. And just close your eyes for a moment. Take time to thank your body for working hard for you this morning. I thank you for taking the time, making the effort, setting the goal to make health and fitness a priority in your life. If we are taking care of ourselves, you guys, if we're eating well, exercising, drinking lots of water, getting proper sleep, our immune system supports us. So with that, I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. And again, feel free to comment, to share this with other people. And I will see you next week. Hopefully soon we'll be back together. But also get out and get some fresh air. All right, you guys, thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.